Hungary to those medals. They're not here. We're certainly focused on who is in the here and now. Huge anticipation. Amy Fisher in lane six, underway. Just Ying and Mengdi to separate them. Fast start, as one would expect. Already, you can see how quickly Lisa Carrington has got away, but this is how it was in Zeged. Amy Fisher just focusing on her own tactics and now really starting to up the pace. Lisa Carrington maybe just about with the edge, but it's very much the two Kiwis going head to head as expected. And we could be in for another dramatic finish. You wouldn't know it from Carrington's expression. Cool and calm. Will that be how she's feeling at the end as Fisher really puts the pressure on? The zebra marked boat of the New Zealander who is looking to really put the pressure on the highly decorated 34-year-old Dame Lisa Carrington. Well, you can hear from the crowd how much excitement there is. The two women just focusing on their strides as they come to the line together. Oh, it's so tight! But Fisher has done it again! Oh, what a victory! Well, last time, she snuck up behind the Olympic and world champion. This time, she went toe-to-toe -to -toe and a nose more than enough for a woman who has hyper-focus in her return to top level. This is a position Carrington is not used to for a woman who almost only knows the golden sensation, a quite phenomenal World Cup double for Amy Fisher, 0.05. Such a tight gap, but it's bigger, if marginally, than Fisher's victory in Zeged. It was a final that had all the hype and absolutely delivered. Well, 20 golds, five of the Olympics, 15 of the World Championships for Lisa Carrington. But she now has a lot to think about heading to Paris as she'll look to defend her title in the K1 500.